So this vid is uh, during a recent visit in Colorado in the Debec Canyon area. I found this missing rock material. And I'm going, well, where is it? Because this ridge line, you've got, uh, you can see here, on, we're on the, the, what they're saying here is truck parking. They call it the uh, beaver tail bypass. You can see old Route 6, Beaver Tail Mountain over here. Here's a uh, to topo of it. And I'm wondering, well, when that washed away, is that what Beaver Tail Mountain is? Here's a satellite view. So, not quite sure what happened, of course. I am not a geologist, not even a, a hobbyist. What you're looking at here is the new ridge line. So here is the, from my vantage point, the left part of the missing escarpment. I'm gonna pan over here to the right side. There it is. That's gotta be, it's gotta be at least a quarter of a mile. And the new ridge line is right, you'll see it right there. Yep, zooming in on it. There it is, can you see it there? I'm gonna go over the back side of the escarpment. As you can see, it's not very wide, maybe 150 feet on top. But if you look down below, there is Colorado Route 65 and Plateau Creek. On that side, there's no material down there. So now I'm panning back over to the escarpment. You can see, look how big it is. That's a lot of rock to go a quarter of a mile or whatever it is. And that height, you know, what do you suppose that height is? 150 foot at least. I don't know, it's a lot. But what you can clearly see over here on the left side, which is where State Route 65 and Plateau Creek is, there's not a bunch of rock down there. There's nothing down there. The water, if it, if my hypothesis is correct, and the Younger Dryas flood broke through here, the material would be on this side. It would be on the downstream side. This is a Colorado River. Now, it just doesn't make sense to me at some point that Beaver Tail Mountain is actually the landing spot for all this material. Number one, Beaver Tail Mountain seems bigger than that. Now this is my camp right here. I'm gonna zoom in here. There's my camp. It just doesn't seem likely that Beaver Tail Mountain, which is now just right off to our left. I think I panned there. Yeah, there it is. There's Beaver Tail Mountain. Is that where all the rock ended up? And then the flood water rushed and hit that point in the background, and ventured off further west and south. Again, here's the left side of the escarpment. State Route 65 and Plateau Creek. No material down there. Nothing. Zero. Zip. Zilch. Not a rock down there. You see over here? Nothing down there. Remember, we're talking enough rock to build a city. There's the left side. You can see the escarpment wraps all the way around. It's part of the, is that the Grand Mesa? Not sure. Again, I was just intrigued by the big hole in the rock and wondering where did all that rock go? Because if you follow the lines of the sediment on this whole mountain, it's continuous. It's not like it was uplifted and that part just didn't uplift. It 
you can tell from below that point that those sedimentary uh, levels are intact all the way across. Okay, so that's my camp down there. Now I'm just messing around with my drone. Maybe if I pan right, you can see these sedimentary layers. See? Follow those sedimentary layers. Look at the one right below the opening. It's continuous. All of them are continuous. Uplift cannot explain it. Downlift cannot explain it. That rock went somewhere. There's no question that rock used to be there, and now it isn't. Sometime probably during, I don't know. I don't know what period. I just don't know. That's way out of my wheelhouse. If the Younger Dryas impact flood theory doesn't wash, then probably happened in the Cretaceous period I was doing some reading. Because when you look at Beaver Tail Mountain, that's all sedimentary. I don't think that could have, that, that's a, that, from the Younger Dryas impact, that would only be like at the most 13,000 years ago. And that sedimentation couldn't have happened. See, there's, there's one of those sedimentary veins that I was talking about. Okay. Oh, look, back to me. Well, this was a real cool spot. If you see those group of trees at the top of the frame right now, down in those trees is a memorial to a gal that was killed. She was a flagger. I've tried to look it up and I can't find anything on it, but it's a large granite memorial to her that was killed when they were working on the tunnel, I guess. All right, I'm gonna land my drone. We'll see if I'm gonna land my drone. It appears that I'm landing my drone. Yep, I think I'm having a safe landing. Oh, there's my dog. That's Chippy, the irrepressible blue tick coon hound. She's a good dog. She's been with me on this trip and she just loves running around. And I let her, because she's, she's great with recall. Not real good with kids, <laughs> but great with recall. All right, so what am I doing now? It looks like I'm just messing around with the drone. So that's the deal. Uh, if we got any geologists out there, anybody out there that that might understand this, I sure would appreciate the comments because this has been, it's really been puzzling me. And for those of you that like to boondock, this, uh, what they call the frontage road, it's right near the Beaver Tail Tunnel. Uh, it just calls it a roadside rest. It's like two miles long. It's a great place for uh, dispersed camping. All right. Oh, you can see a nice, that's a nice shot of the broken escarpment off to my left in the left hand corner. Look how big it is. Quarter of a mile long. That's a lot of rock. All right, I'm gonna show you some photos I found of uh, this. There's a nice shot. Yeah, I, now that I'm looking at it, I just don't see how beaver tail could be it, but maybe it is, I just don't know. There's another nice further out shot. And there's a shot from my camp. Well, I really appreciate you if you were able to sit through this. Uh, I hope you find it as interesting as I do. I sure would like to get some kind of answer. If anyone out there knows any kind of geologist or hydrologist or, or younger Dryas impact 
ologist, <laughs> whatever, someone that could help me understand this because there is no rock material of any significance on either side of this ridge line. And that's a shitload of rock. That's a shit ton load of rock that is missing. It's got to be somewhere. It had to have gone somewhere. I hope someone can help me figure it out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.